Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali and this is my boyfriend Ryan. Today we thought we would try out the new questions feature on Instagram. So we wanted to do a Q&A, especially while I'm home with my boyfriend. So today we are going to be talking about long distance relationships, college, our favorite places to go in Atlanta, and all of that. So let's get started. Number one. Number one is actually from me, so I'll skip that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The real number one, are you and Ryan good at communicating through disagreements? So I'm honestly a little bit petty when it comes to like our arguments. So it could be like him just not making the bed when he's, <laughs> you know, said he would. But he is very forgiving if we get into like any like fight or argument, like he's really forgiving. So 10 minutes later, he'll just like come back to me and he's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, okay, are you done now? Like, can we be friends again? We literally get over our fights in like less than 15 minutes, maximum an hour, honestly. I'm just not like an angry person. Yeah. I think it's rubbed off on her. I feel like she used to be like really uptight about stuff and now she's yeah. kind of relaxed about everything. Uh huh. She still gets in these moods where I know she's just gonna fight me about anything, so I might as well just give up. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. Like, I didn't make the bed, sorry. Like, <laughs> Number two, what is the best UCF activity that you've attended? So background information, I go to UCF. I'm a rising senior studying radio, television, and minoring in sociology. I go to the University of Georgia. I'm a rising senior, and I'm majoring in marketing. So it's honestly hard to say from my three years. I have, like, really bad memory. But a recent activity that they had was the solar eclipse viewing. Basically, you would just go to the reflecting pond and get those, like, cool 3D glasses. And everyone was just, like, looking at it at the reflecting pond. And I thought it was just so cool to see, like, everyone kind of, like, bonding over this experience. I don't know. I thought it, I don't know. I thought it was, like, really cool. Like, the teachers were so nice. I actually did get a pair of um, glasses because they ran out. So even, like, the teachers were, like, passing them around. And I don't know. I thought it was a really cool event. Do you have any favorite UGA events? If you guys know Georgia, you kind of know like the uh, traditions. Yeah, kind of how famous it is for football. Uh -huh. So really, Saturdays in the first semester is your football season. Yeah. And that's just kind of my favorite time of the year already. Plus football. Yeah. Plus you know like I'll say bars downtown, but yeah, it's just kind of a fun atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of known for its atmosphere. It's the best college town in the nation, but mm -hmm. it's just fun. Uh, I mean. No, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not it's a single event that I can just pick out. Yeah. Like, but do stuff on like do stuff on campus. Like you'll meet a lot of people. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so how do y'all make long distance work? The most helpful thing for long distance relationships is video calling. We FaceTime like as much as we can, and I don't know. I personally like don't really get bothered, um, not being with him twenty four seven just because. I'm able to live my own life and it's kind of nice because I don't know like I feel like if I went to the same college as Ryan I would not be where I am today I would not be getting like the internships and like doing like all this cool videography gigs and I like hold her down. not okay. like not that you hold me down yeah, but we're like, able to like... stay as busy as if we were single mm -hmm. while still being together yeah that's like kind of important for me because like I like to keep my grades up yeah and if we FaceTime like 30 minutes we both kind of understand that we need, to, we need to do our own stuff. Like, yeah. like, we're both busy. It's fine if we don't talk for, like, a couple hours. I actually got a DM recently saying that most of this girl's family, like, wants her to break up with her boyfriend because she's going to college. You want her to clean slate? Yeah. And just, like, have fun and, like, get more opportunities. But, like, honestly, okay. like, it's so... I know. I'm. It's funny because, like, my family kind of said yeah. the same to me. But now they see how amazing Ryan is. But honestly, like, it's so nice going through college with someone to go through those experiences with even though they're not like right by your side at that moment like it's just really nice to have someone else to talk through everything with because college can get lonely so it's also kind of fun looking forward to seeing her like mm -hmm. like i know i book a flight on yeah. my calendar i always look at it and like uh -huh. kind of like the big thing coming up it's fun and we live in cool towns like he lives in athens i live in orlando there's so much to do they're worried about like the trust factor like is he can cheat on me she can cheat on me uh-huh can i have to like, let that go because yeah they're not gonna know and if it really bothers you that much you can just break up with them like yeah for me it's like i don't we already been dating like four years before we went to college yeah like, almost or what three yeah. years and i was like and uh, it's not a big deal. I mean, yeah. like, I just didn't even think about it. Like, mm -hmm. how do you guys maintain such good trust and communication in LDR, long distance relationship? Sometimes when he doesn't answer me for a really long time, like, I'm like, Ryan, like, hello, hello, I have like mm -hmm. something to tell you, but he's like usually like just napping. <laughs> 
So I'm not like studying or going to school. I'm usually just asleep or yeah. watching TV and my phone on charger. Uh huh. I can't tell you how many times I've made dinner, come upstairs, and have like my phone. Like I have like a wireless charger, and it's like almost like buzzed off. <laughs> she texts me so much. Like I definitely trust him. Like we've been together for so long that it's just like kind of like stupid not to trust you now. Like he yeah. hasn't done anything wrong ever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> keep it up. Um, but for communication, like. I always joke that he's a really bad communicator, but I mean, he's pretty good. He's probably a better communicator than most guys. So for communication, I always make sure like we both have our phones charged like when we're going out and stuff. And like, not that I want him to like text me every single minute while he's out, but like, I don't know, I just like to have him like Snapchat me and like know that he's like okay and just like having fun. Um, but yeah. Again, FaceTime is like my most used app probably. Yeah. Like, I don't even text anyone, really. Like, if I get a text, it's, like, rare. It's, like, from yeah. her saying FaceTime me. Yeah. <laughs> Best quality about each other. Okay. I have so many to tell you guys about Ryan. First, he's, like, so selfless. He'll do, like, pretty much anything for me, anytime. And then he's also really forgiving. He's super friendly. So, like, you can put him in a situation not knowing anyone, and he'll just, like, talk to anyone or the wall or and just, like... <laughs> I mean, like, you might I mean, feel awkward, yeah. but, like, you don't look at it. Like, you look like you're having a grand old time. But, like, if you put me in that situation, I'd be like, can I go home now, you know? Yeah, like, on my phone or something. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Ryan always has a good time. There there were so many others that I was thinking about. Um, Physical-wise, like, I love her hair, but when she cuts it, it kind of makes me mad. Cause I like, like, the longest possible. Hmm. I can see how, like, it'd be annoying to be that long. I always cut it when it hits my butt crack. That's when I know. That's when I know it's time. <laughs> But all around, I think she's, like, really funny. Like, she makes me laugh, like, all the time. Yeah, and sometimes like, he's like, you're so funny. And, like, what the f- it's almost what like did I just like, say? It's like that she's not trying to be funny. So what she does is just, like, funny. Like, but honestly. It's like a dog. Like, I'm not saying I mean by to say it. It's like a little puppy dog. doing something funny. You just, like, laugh, you know? Like, yeah. She's the only thing she knows she's being funny when she does it. I honestly think he's the only person in this world that thinks I'm funny. Because, like, everyone else, like, is, like, shut up, so not, like. He's <laughs> also uh, very determined, like. Like, you can't really, like, get her off pace, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to put that into words. Oh, I have another one. He's really motivated, and... Yeah, motivated, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, but, like, in high school, like, I probably have talked about it before. Like, I helped him in biology, but, like, now he helps me in, like, all my college classes. Like, he's so smart. Like, now you're so motivated to, like, like get, like, an amazing life after college, and, I don't know, that's something, like, I really admire because I, like want to have a nice life and Same. hopefully I'll be a part of that so <laughs> Same for her though she's always on her grind like if she's not doing work she's like editing a video or something and kind of like yeah but admire that's... that sometimes I look at her laptop and it's just so much stuff and I'm like <laughs> I wish I had that on my laptop it's also definitely a weakness of mine it's kind of hard to just like close the laptop and just know when it's like boyfriend time you know there's honestly so many more good qualities about Ryan um but I can't really think of them right now but just know that this guy He's a really great guy. <laughs> okay, next question. Story of how y'all met. Okay, you say this because I feel like I always like tell it. Okay, I'll I kind of want to. I'll tell this stuff from my point of view. Yeah, I kind of want to hear it from your point of view. So I was like, you know, like a football player in high school or in middle school, really. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, we had like two. So Roswell High School has two like middle schools that funnel into each other. Mm-hmm. And it's not cool to talk to people from your own middle school. Like, it's cool to talk to people from, from the other middle school. Honestly. I was like, so Honestly. Like, that's how it was. So, like, she went to, like, our other middle school. Mm-hmm. So she was, like, the cool oh, girl. Over there. She, I thought she I was, was really weird. I wasn't cool. And I was she definitely got, like, not cool. cool. Girls. And, like, she's a cheerleader. So, like, she was cool. But, like, so, like, I, like, we texted for a while in middle school, not really knowing each other that well. Yeah, and I he always she thought... she was super weird. Like, she was, like, so weird. <laughs> and honestly, like, looking back at, like, the way I typed messages, I kind of agree. I was kind of weird. Like, her Facebook memories are, like, that's why you were weird. Like, she <laughs> showed me, I'm like, I know. Like, she had, like, a long crush on Drake, and now she acts like it, like, never existed. In eighth grade, she was my homecoming date for mm-hmm. football cheerleading. I, like, she was assigned to me. I didn't, like, choose her. So it's basically, like, you just, like, walk them down yeah, and, like, and escort them her, down. Like, a flower. Yeah. I, can't, I don't think it was a flower. It was I guess. really nothing. <laughs> but that's when we like she was like I was like oh crap, so no, she's <laughs> no, not really. But uh, I mean she was like this tall, like she was tiny back then. And I was like really the exact tall. same size that I was. <laughs> I am now. I haven't grown at all. In between eighth and ninth, we didn't talk that much. And then ninth yeah. grade, she was my biology class. Uh huh. 
And, and then we started God, like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be in college right now probably. Biology was like my favorite class just because like I knew Ryan was in that class. Not that I had like a crush on him at that time because it really only started sophomore year, but I just like loved him as a friend. Like he was like such a cool friend to have. So at the end of freshman year in biology, we started like flirting like, and flirted stuff. With me, so. You flirted with me. She, I didn't know she liked me. For like the longest year, time ever. Six months. <laughs> I thought we were just he was friends. like in denial or some shit. Like it was so annoying. And the whole school knew, literally everyone knew, and he, they were like, When are you guys gonna date or whatever? Oh, she was just nice. Anyways, she's so, a good friend. <laughs> so it's basically like best friends turning into boyfriend and girlfriend is what happened. But it's funny, is that a Halloween party and like someone actually told me, I was like, Are you sure? Like, <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just like she's the first friend. No, it was I I thought I made it a little bit obvious, but I guess not. And she gave but, me the ultimatum. She was like, ask me out. Yeah. I, I, on I, I like, literally, um, I think it was like the day before we got back from school, winter break, sophomore year. I was like, <laughs> dude, what are we? Like, you better ask me out or like, this can't be a thing anymore. And like the next day he asked me out and I was like, could you not have like waited a couple days? Because I feel like I just forced you to like date me. But like, look at us now. She just forced me to stay with her now, too. I can't leave. <laughs> so we've been dating since sophomore year, so it's been almost six years, January 7th. Tips for making LDRs work in college? I would say just trust the process and just kind of go, just go along with the flow. With it. There would be times that we didn't really know when we would see each other next, and that was kind of hard. Um, and I think the longest we've been without seeing each other was like two months or a little bit longer than that. But honestly, like... We're really, really fortunate that we are able to, like, fly to each other or, like, be able to see each other, like, almost every other month or every month. I would just say try to see each other as much as possible and try to, like, have those planned out events. Like, I know I want to come back for, like, this fall fair in Georgia and, like, I know I want him to come for my semi-formal. So just kind of, like, plan it out during the year um, so it will give you, like, hope. I'm also not involved in Greek life, so I'm not constantly surrounded by, like, girls and parties and stuff so I don't yeah. know if that like I can't imagine how she would be if I was like or if I wasn't a picture with girls on Instagram like what would happen you know what <laughs> I mean that stuff like doesn't happen so yeah if you're not involved in Greek life I think it's a little easier just because you will have more time to talk to her also yeah that's true sometimes I do feel a little busy and I feel really really guilty but honestly like you just have to like live your college life and like just like talk to them later do you see yourself getting married in the future? By the way, you guys are so cute. All right, next. Ryan! <laughs> just 21, just having fun. You know, oh, my God. <laughs> I honestly thought when I was a little girl, I would be married with a baby by 22. I'm going to be 22 this November. That is insane to me that I thought that age I would be that way. a little boy, I felt like 45, getting married, having a kid. I'm like 21, yeah. Okay, okay, I get years. it. I get it. No. <laughs> what? No. It's not going to be 14 years. We'll compromise at 35. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is one of your favorite memories together? I love doing fun, like, adventurous days with him. Like, I'll plan out, like, my whole day. Like, let's say we go to the fair or, like, yesterday we went to Pond City Market and we rode <laughs> around on these, like, scooters. And, like, I can't stop talking about it because it was just so much fun. But, like... Doing, like, adventurous things like that is so much fun with Ryan because, like, I feel like he appreciates, like, anything and everything. Um, and it just makes me appreciate everything more. Like, when we do trips together, it's really fun. Like, we went to Savannah one time. Mm -hmm. We've been to Orlando a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, been to Miami. We just got, like, really cool places. And, like, of course, she always has, like, her little... Itinerary. <laughs> no, what is it? You go, like, Pinterest and get, like, these, like, cool places to eat oh, yeah. and places to go. So, like, she makes, like, a... Itinerary this long, yeah. like you know, like breathe, exhale, like walk, <laughs> I literally walk say, the like, car, drive, yeah, yeah like, <laughs> load car, <laughs> and it's like, like, like literally, I plan out everything to a T. But I think it's more efficient that way, and we still have like fun. How did your parents react to having a boyfriend? I'm also Indian. My parents are super strict. Okay, let's break the news to them. I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I pretty much kid my boyfriend from my parents. For like two or two and a half years and honestly when I told them it was really anticlimactic because <laughs> I think they pretty much already knew they're not that strict like she I think she thought they were some like I thought they were way like more strict <laughs> I thought they were way more strict and I thought they would be like so pissed because they've always told me like your education comes first like no boyfriend so I literally thought it was like no boyfriends like 
So I don't know, I would never talk about boys around them. I always thought it was like not really a part of my culture too, like to like say stuff like that. Um, and I mean, they kind of like knew because I would go to homecomings and proms mm, with every Ryan. Year. Oh, yeah. yeah, every year. <laughs> so like they would always kind of make like sly jokes. Like one time my dad gave me the Stockings jersey and it said <laughs> Ryan on the back, like Matt Ryan. And he was like, here, it's like your homecoming date's name. And like he looked at me funny and I was like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Honestly, throughout high school, they kind of asked me like, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? And I would always say no, because I thought they would be mad at me. But when I got into college, I kind of gave up. And my mom asked me again, and then I was like, yeah, like, I do have a boyfriend. <laughs> and I don't know, it was just like she super anti She was like, do you have a boyfriend? Like, yeah, I guess who? She's like, Ryan? You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just, and she, she was just like laughing everything off. It was just weird, very uncomfortable. But yeah, that is the story. <laughs> and now I, I work for her dad now. I'm doing an internship with him right now. It's my mm. second internship with him, like, yeah. It's, I mean, they're, like, really nice and Yeah, my parents awesome. love Ryan to death. Like, my mom always tells me, like, on the phone, she's like, Sonali, Ryan's such a nice guy to you. Like, he's a great guy. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, I feel like she doesn't even know, like, all of this nice stuff he does for me. But anyways. Just putting up with her day to day. Yeah. What are your future plans after college? Um, I don't know. What about you, homie? Um, I plan on being hired before I graduate, hopefully somewhere. Retweet. And then I'd like to live at home for about a year and save enough to the point where I can either have a down payment for a house, but also just have it in my bank account. Or I, I'm really kind of interested in investing money. I told her I wouldn't want to move. I went there until we had at least... At least 30K in the bank. Yeah. So 60 combined total. <laughs> Like that, I mean, just in case, like, what if you do want to buy a house? It's a good investment right now. Like, the market's really good. So, like, look how smart he is, guys. I don't... We were in like Inman Park, Atlanta area last mm -hmm. night, and it was like a lot nicer than I remember it being. Like, I wouldn't mind living down there now. And they have a lot of new houses they're building. Yeah. So, I might look into that, but it originally went in to move to Buckhead. Yeah. And like one of the high rises there. And yeah. Find a job in Atlanta, Buckhead area. Mm -hmm. So, for me, I have no idea what I want to do. Um, I really just have so many like things that I am interested in, like videography, I like digital media, I like graphic design, I like photography. There's so many like creative outlets that I like to do, but I need to find one that like I can, you know, find a job in and I don't know how I'm going to do that. So hopefully this year, my senior year, I'm, I will find, you know, the passion that stands out the strongest and kind of find a job in that. What is your favorite thing about Sonali? My favorite thing about her is just kind of her personality. Like, she's either like, this excited or she's like crying <laughs> a lot or she's like, being super funny and hyper. I don't know, I just like being around her. Sometimes I feel like I was like, not at home while she's here, you know? Oh. So. Thanks. Yeah. I don't know, her personality, she's also really pretty, right? She's good fashion too. Ryan actually styles me most of the time. Like I will literally go to him and be like, does this match? Or like, what goes with this? And he'll like so style she me. She doesn't listen. She just asks and it's yeah, like, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my God. He literally just bought me a wicker hat from Goodwill and he knew that was like the trend. Oh, yeah. So I'm like she really wants, pumped wants. about that. Mm. Like, What's your best advice for a smooth, enjoyable relationship? Um, I would say just don't let anything be bigger than the love for you have the other person, I guess. Like, good advice. Damn, like, is in like, shit's deep. Like, don't like let something make you so angry that it, I mean, if it's something you forget justifiable. What you love about them? No, I mean, don't make it a big deal if it's not a big deal. Yeah. She's a problem with that sometimes. Oops. <laughs> like, I mean, just don't like. If something that you don't have to fight about, don't fight about it. Pick and choose your battle. Yeah, basically. Why waste the time fighting when you could waste the time? having fun together, like, doing new things together, mm -hmm. like, I've never had sushi before, she has it now, like, we eat sushi, like, twice a week, I feel like. Yes. So, like, I mean, anything new, like, what else I've never done? Went to Grand Cayman together, never, like, been out of the country with someone, really. Mm -hmm. You guys have been together for a hot minute. How do you keep up the romance? Well, we're not really together for, like, nine months, ten months out of the year. Yeah. So, when we are together, it's kind of fun. Yeah. But I do get tired of her sometimes when she's being, she'll get in some nudes sometimes. He's, he's always like, okay, time for you to go back now. <laughs> but I'm um, just joking though. I mean, some, I mean, everyone gets moody, but. Yeah. I feel like since we aren't together half of the year, the time that we are together, like we really cherish. Yeah. How has it been sharing two different cultures among each other? 
Has it been difficult at all? I think it's been really cool that Ryan could see like my culture because he loves Indian food. I feel like before our relationship, like he just didn't really know like anything about the Indian culture. I feel like him and his friends would just like make jokes about like, you know, the Indian culture. But like now he's like totally understands it. And like, I don't know. He'll... I still do have like a more dark sense of humor than most people. So like I, yeah. I do find something like funny still, but I do understand culture <laughs> yeah. and everyone's culture more. I'm respected. It's just... If somebody says something funny about it, I'll, I'll laugh, you know, like, I don't know, like, it's just who I am, like, I, I probably laugh more than I do anything in life. More like, than he talks. <laughs> yeah. Has one of you ever considered transferring to their one school? She's considered going to UGA. She, if she oh. didn't get into UCF, she was going to Kennesaw, go to UGA. Yeah. And, Honestly, like, I probably would have only gone there because it was, like, in Georgia, it was with Brian, like, I was comfortable in Georgia, like, everyone in our high school, like, went to a Georgia school pretty much. I think most of our high school went to Georgia. There's yeah. about probably 17 to 25 kids yeah. just from our class that are in my class at Georgia. Yeah, so I was just definitely more comfortable in Georgia, and I didn't want to move at all. Um, but my mom, like, wasn't going to let that slide. It was prepaid but, college. Why would you waste that? Yeah, so I had Florida prepaid college funds, so I had to pick a school in Florida, which I'm honestly so grateful that that happened but honestly I've always said to myself and my friends like if I didn't have my sorority Kappa Delta and like my friends in my sorority and outside of my sorority I would definitely be back in Georgia in a heartbeat I would go to like a community college if I needed to because like I just would feel so lonely and like I'm the type of person that if I'm not around people like I will literally get like depressed kind of have you ever faced jealousy issues in your LDR Especially since you're both young college students. Honestly, like, yes, I'm a very jealous person. Like, very. <laughs> and Ryan's, like, super not. Like, if anything, he'll just make, like, stupid jokes that, like, mess with my head. But, like, he's really not jealous. Like, it's more when she yells at me for being jealous. Yeah. And she does the same thing that I do. I'll <laughs> pretend to be jealous to be like, this is how ridiculous you're being. Yeah. And I'm like, it's not, is it a big deal now when, I, when you do it? That's what yeah. I was doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, so, I don't know. I mean. Kind of puts me in my place. <laughs> okay. All-time favorite restaurant spots in the Atlanta area? <laughs> I don't know. There's so many. Okay. My favorite, I probably would say, like, Pond City Market and Beltline is, like, my favorite place now. Especially with those damn scooters. Check out my Instagram controls my day vlog because that's like the scooters I'm talking about, but they were so freaking fun. Restaurants, I would say 26 Thai Kitchen Bar. So good. Such good Thai food. I love Thai food now. Yeah. For sushi, I would say Oku has like a beautiful rooftop bar. Um, and Umi is our favorite. We're going there tomorrow. And if you're from Athens or Atlanta, Alfredo, you know Roussan's. No, Roussan's is, is, is the staple of all the college uh -uh. meals. It's, it's like, so good. No. For it's two, like good if you... dollar fifty roll? How's it not good? Fried rice is like $4. Mm -mm. Okay. She doesn't Anyways. appreciate it. But in Roswell, we have a place called Canton Street. Mm -hmm. It's like where the city we're from. It's where and I used to work. When yeah, I was it's like, yeah. So it's like a... Uh, Just like a really cute yeah. like area where there's restaurants and shops and stuff like that. It's kind of like... It's kind of famous actually. One of the best like, suburbs to live in in America, yeah, they say. And it's like that's the main reason why is because they have these like nice restaurants and mm -hmm. shops and just good atmospheres like a live after five which is a Avalon and Alpharetta is yeah. a really good area too. Um, what else? What are cool in places? Buckhead like you know, like Lenox Mall? It's like I mean it's like yeah. it's famous for like songs and stuff, but yeah. it is pretty cool. They have like really you know it's Plaza that has like good restaurants. Yeah, in Lenox Mall, I definitely need to write a blog post on my favorite Atlanta places. So comment down below if you guys want to see that. How to handle the pressure of being a student. You will learn time management skills. I, like I said, I'm a planner and I plan my whole day out like to the second sometimes, especially when I'm like having such a busy day. I'm really invested in myself as in like I want to get good grades mm -hmm. all the time and I want to do the best I can do. Mm -hmm. But I've taken some like really hard classes that to the point where I like get something broke in my spirit. Like I'm like, Okay, I'm like, C minus is fine. I'll take it. Like, yeah. So, like, it's just, like, the pressure of it, I would say just find someone to help you and study. And, like, if you don't understand something, they probably will. So, ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and ask work together. Questions. Like, even the teacher, some teachers, like, I, had, I took finance. Uh -huh. And this teacher would basically call you stupid if you asked a question. 
He's been studying. I mean, what is he? He's a fine professor. Like he's been doing it for twenty five years. That's mean. And he's very stale. If you go to yeah. Georgia, you probably know who I'm talking about. You find the student in the class that understands it. Oh. My brother, luckily, was a finance major, and my roommate was also a finance major. Mm-hmm. So they helped me through it, and they kind of helped me understand it more. So find a resource that helps and takes a lot of pressure off you because you'll know you have someone to go to. That's academic-wise. I mean, living alone scares you or being on your own. Mm -hmm. That's kind of experience. Like, I was scared, too, when I first moved to Athens alone. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, me too. Hardest thing about college? I would say the hardest thing for me at first was definitely moving to a whole new state and not knowing a single person. Going to college at UCF, that was definitely scary because, like I said, I just wanted to be in my little bubble that I've always been in Roswell and in Georgia. So honestly, the hardest part was just becoming more independent because I was always dependent on everyone in my life. The hardest part for me is the walk from the MLC to North Campus. It's just like straight uphill. And like, <laughs> not actually, but like, uh, like I said, she said I'm like family oriented. I didn't like being with my family that much. Some of the schoolwork, managing it, my first couple semesters I took five classes. Mm-hmm. And I was taking like accounting online and taking kind of some like difficult classes. Yeah. So it was hard just to like, figure out where your time goes, having like a long relationship, having different classes, meeting new people, yeah. moving. It's just like all a lot at once, but yeah. it's really, once you're there for probably six months, you forget you're even, yeah. you should just, it's, just it's over. Like natural. You, you, yeah, you live there now, it's normal. Yeah. It's like, it's only scary when you first do it. But mm. now I'd say my hardest thing is some of those, I mean, some of my classes are pretty tough and that's, that's the hardest part really. Mm-hmm. How connected are you to Indian culture? So unfortunately, I really am not that connected to my culture. And like, I regret this so much. Like, I wish I could be a part of like these Indian dance groups. I did do Bollywood dance. I think I was in like middle school or maybe elementary school, but I wish I like kept up with that. I felt like I wasn't that great. So I never went up to higher levels. but I've always wished that I actually, you know, stuck with the Bollywood dance because I feel like that was a great way to meet other Indian girls. And honestly, my whole life, I've been in a community that there hasn't been that many Indian people. So, I mean, I had my like Indian family friends, but they all went to different schools. And like, now we barely see each other. We see each other like maybe every November. So it's kind of hard being able to connect with my culture when I'm not surrounded by Indian people like ever. <laughs> all right, so we are on the last question. When did you find out about Sonali's YouTube and how did you feel about it? I think she actually told me maybe like her third video and I was just really? kind of like, okay, that's cool. Like, I swear. I thought I like hired, it. No, you didn't hire it that long. For me at least because you like had a tripod, did a bunch of camera stuff and you just told me. I mean, I was just like, yeah, I think I was in one of your maybe first 15 videos probably. Oh, for sure. Probably. So, I mean, I, I don't know. At first it was kind of weird. Like, I didn't really know what to say in front of a camera. I was just like, yeah. I was like awkward. I was like, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what I do. Like, yeah. I still feel weird from the camera, but it's definitely gotten better. Like her vlogs, at first I was just like, yeah, like, I don't know what to do at all, but now I actually talk. And we did a boyfriend tag one day, and it was like what our like not our half year anniversary, maybe like one year and a half, maybe Two something like that. Early. I don't know what it was. No, no, it was definitely not that early, but it was something like that, and we filmed a boyfriend tag. And, and I never got made fun of more in my life after yeah, it came out. <laughs> honestly, people at my school like were Ruthless. so mean about it. <laughs> so then I went and privated the video because <laughs> people were just being so freaking mean. And like people in high school at that time didn't really understand YouTube. So unfortunately. It was like 10th grade too. Like yeah, everyone's so, mean. Like Yeah. But yeah, so I have that privated and I'm pretty sure it's still privated. But I feel like we did like an updated boyfriend tag. If not, I don't know. We I did thought the, we did. The jelly bean. Yeah, we did the bean boozled <laughs> challenge. I don't really care. I'm a supporter, and I like that she does something that keeps her busy and mm-hmm. can make a career out of it. All right, guys, so that is it of our Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>